we're here to describe the action for you. Nice to have you with us, Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith. Sheffield Wednesday today against Portsmouth. Sheffield Wednesday feeling good about their own game, looking for another victory. Last time out, they won at home against Sunderland. Yeah, I mean, 5-2 is impressive in anybody's language, Martin, and uh, I think they can follow it up with another win here. Number 16, Aidan Flint. Number five, so short of victories on the road, these visitors today. Well, they're going to try and turn this around and turn it around pretty quickly. Number 10, Barry Bannon. Number 23, Sam Hutchinson. Number 8, Bradley Dack. Number 27. Let's look at Sheffield Wednesday and the list of their players here. Number 12. Lucas Jow. Thanks. Okay. And here is the Portsmouth lineup for this game. It does look more like 4-4-1-1 than 4-4-2. Yes, I think so. I mean, it gives the manager the option of stiffening his midfield. And when they get the ball, you know, that number 10, if that's what you want to call him, behind the centre forward, he can supply the bullets, he can get in the box and give his teammates some company. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Simon Hooper, our match referee today. And the first half is underway here. That's the kickoff. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Sam Hutchinson. To put them in front. Tipped over by the keeper there. Corner coming up. In goes the corner. Just lent the ball to his mate and got it back again. Goal news from Millwall. It's a goal from Millwall. Six minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Cheers, Alan. Now, this looks promising. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Wonderful reflexes to make the save from close range. And that'll be a corner. In goes the corner. It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Gets his cross in. Well, he's cleared the danger. Well, that'll be a throw. Barry Bannon whipped in from the wide area. Punched away by the goalkeeper. got through there but the defender was absolutely on top of his game a goal from uh, Blackburn Alan McAnally it's a goal for Blackburn Rovers now the shot oh, he's way off target well frustration from the manager but by the same token his team are playing well they might have gone ahead there, but they'll get another chance.
the home team with all the cards here, it seems, especially the points that they got for winning the away game on the ground of the opposition here. Well, if they play half as well as they did in that reverse game, I think they're going to coast to a win here. Could be dangerous. It's a good cross. Routine for the keeper. Low. Free kick here. Coming up on EA Sports, coverage of the EFL Championship fixture. Sheffield Wednesday, they will be facing Bournemouth. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one, looking forward to it. And the keeper can catch that one, no, no problem at all. Attacking well here. And Evans. Burgess. Low. Getting forward well as a team now. It's a useful position this for the free kick. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Well, that's going to be a free kick. Very good distance to the clearance. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Rose. Low. Possession is the name of the game for this team. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. He's got his shot off now. It's offside. Putting on the squeeze again and forcing an error, really a wasteful clearance. Sam Hutchinson. Here's Bell. There's good progress with this attack. This with a chance to go into the lead now. The referee's given a corner.
Corner played into the middle. Can't get it away. Corner again. Corner swung in. Can't put any pressure on the goalkeeper like that. Easy pickings from the corner. Rose. That's good movement forward here. Well, we're halfway through, and we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil-nil at half-time. A very good contest in this first half. Very little between them. Yeah, it's difficult to split them, isn't it? If you had to name a winner in the second half, I'd be hard pushed to do that. Time now for the second half to start. He's one of the best, Martin, at just shifting across, reading the pass. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Gets his cross in. Magnificent from the goalkeeper. Well, it's all about positioning and spreading his body. Top-class keeping. Low. And here they are on the attack, guiding the pass through. Sam Hutchinson comes in strongly. I know this manager is not too keen on this kind of play. Uh, he'd rather the ball was in the other half and they were playing their football in the opposing half. Well, the referee has produced a red card in the game, being watched by Alan McAnally. It's a red card for the home team. They're down to ten men. A couple of options for him from the free kick, whether to go for goal or put it to where his teammates are lining up. Substitution coming up for Portsmouth. Oh, the Wolves done its job. Corner for Portsmouth. all the time and makes lots of these interceptions low Rose and this is an opportunity when you concede a free kick in an area like this you could be in serious trouble He's coming forward with some danger. It could be a chance into the lead here. What a big goal that might turn out to be.
and here he was faced by the goalkeeper that was the challenge in you go easy as you like it looks easy doesn't it but I can tell you it's not you have to be at the top of your game to try it and to convert it he's not the easiest of managers to work for I know that but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now Sheffield Wednesday with the lead. Sheffield Wednesday goal. Number eight, Bradley. Burgess. Back. Moving the opposition around with their play, these two players. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Good strong tackle. A reminder that the reserves are in action tomorrow. If you'd like to get details, have a look at the club Rose. website. He's read that, hasn't he, and made the interception. Made it look easy, actually. Low. Cleverly done. Real chance. That injury is forcing the player to... Give way, and a substitute will be introduced. Well, here comes the corner. It was a chance, really, of getting into a scoring position then, but anything but. Barry Bannon, backing his own talent here to keep the ball, and he has got some support if he wants to just lay it off. A goal from uh, Millwall. It's a third goal for Cardiff City. 73 minutes played. 3-1. Got to be. And it's a goal. And they are level. Small fry they might be. But they've had a big moment here. And they're level. Yeah, they've got great spirit within this team, they would not lie down, and uh, who knows now? Let's see the replay now. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Number eight, Brett Pittman. Slipped his man. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Defender on his toes. Low. Going forward well. Going to try his luck. Super goal here. And a super time to get it because they're in front now. Well, for a fraction of a second, Alan, I thought he was going to keep it out. He did get a touch on the ball, the goalkeeper. But in it went. Yeah, he's annoyed with himself there. He's his own harshest critic and he feels he should have done better. Nothing the manager can do at the moment. His team have lost momentum and they're also losing this match. So Portsmouth are in front now. Very impressive, the support for this team. If only the team could be quite so impressive themselves. Yeah, they're doing their bit, the supporters, they really are, so... Just wonder whether it can transfer onto those players down on the pitch. Good reading of the play by the defender. They could pose some danger now. Opening the equaliser here. It's come off the goal. 
goalkeeper still in play. This turnover could be costly against the side that can break like and he could get away here. That's a foul. It's going to be a free kick here. Well, you sometimes question the judgment of players in these situations. He's gone flying in and now he's trudging off. Well, a rush of blood to say the least and you can have no complaints whatsoever. To be replaced by number nine, Stephen Fletcher. Substitution for Portsmouth coming off the pitch. Number eight, Brett Pittman to be replaced by. Hit it well! Went for goal from optimistic distance and nearly found it. Yeah, it's a good effort. I think the keeper would have had it though. Well, we're in the last knockings of the game, but we're still on the edge of our seats here. It's that close. And in the shot, go! Well, that would have settled the game, Alan, I think, to go uh, two in front at this late stage. Well, I think he thought he'd scored there, took it a little bit too easy, a bit too casual. Number four. Well, that should give these players some encouragement because they've been playing pretty well and uh, they just need to take the chances now. Neatly intercepted. Well, if only they... The shot's on! Really at the extent of his reach to make that very fine stop. Good forward play from them. To level it up now. Oh, it really could have been the goal to bring them level. Well, it looked easy, didn't it? He's close in there, getting some stick from the crowd. Really made a hash of that to try and get the equaliser. Well, there we are, Alan. We can pick over the bones as much as we like, but the fact is, it's a defeat. Yeah, and a defeat is a defeat, and they always hurt, and uh, there's always something for the manager to look at and try and improve upon, and there was plenty there. He's coming forward with some danger. It could be a chance into the lead here. What a big goal that might turn out to be. Cleverly done. Real chance. Millwall. It's a third goal for Cardiff City. 73 minutes played, 3-1. Got to be, and it's a goal, and they are level. Low. Going forward well. Going to try his luck. 